I don't mind though. Yuko is curious about you. The relationship's becoming more intimate. Please don't tell Kaza or anyone else that story. You're the only one who knows, Masfukun. By the way, that guy I was going out with? I broke up with him a long time ago. You probably figured that out already, huh? S see you later. Where have you been? When I look up at Tartarus, I'm always amazed at how many floors are in it. The tower reaches to the skies. Ah, it's going to be a long and arduous journey. I'm a little disappointed about Fukakun as well. It is quite difficult to find someone who has the potential. Would you feel more assured if you had more team members? I'm okay with who we have, but if any of you become ill, the strength of the team will drastically de decrease. Depending on so few members, puts us in a very precarious position. That's too bad. Her name's Fuka Yamagishi, right? It would be nice if a girl who's in the same grade as me joined. Dude, my persona's getting stronger. It's really good at physical attacks, but its skills don't really change that much. Is that why my grades are so low? Hey, I didn't know you had skills too. Haha, <laughs> I was just joking. Uh, now I'm depressed. Other than electricity skills, it seems like my persona can only learn status lowering skills. Status lowering skills are very useful. Power isn't the only thing that wins battles. <laughs> I can't believe my persona is actually teaching me something. What's up, dude? So, what do you think? About what? About Fukuyama Gishi, of course. I haven't given up hope that she'll join our team. Dude, her face looks so familiar. She does like she does look kind of weak, but it only makes me want to protect her, you know? Gawa in charge of in integrative learning. Hee hee hee. In this class, I'll ease all your worries. It's psychotherapy through magic. Alright, everyone, be very, very quiet. No talking. Silence. Were you surprised to hear me bring up magic? It's a recent proposal, so it's not well known yet. Here it is. Those who believe will be saved. Study hard, and I can beat your weak minds into shape. Hee hee hee. Now then, let's get on with our first lecture on the basics of magic. Who can use magic and who cannot? That'll be our starting point. 
Some of you might think that magic lets you do absolutely anything. Pulling pranks on people, hurting your enemies. If that's what you think, then you'll never learn magic. It's true of, of both Eastern and Western sorcery. Those with wicked hearts will either be powerless or be driven to ruin. There's one more thing that can't be forgotten when learning magic. That is, a master. You should aspire to become as good as your predecessors, especially if you're studying difficult magic. If you don't have a magic, if you don't have a magic, wow, if you don't have a master, learning the black arts will be impossible. When you begin your training, you'll have to live in two worlds at once, the real world and the dark realm. If you can't distinguish between the two, you're headed for certain disaster. That's why the presence of a master is of the utmost importance. With that in mind, I'll move on to meditation, a standard practice in magical training. I've got some handouts for you. Ah, now then, it looks like it's time. If you're interested in the subject, try meditating before going to bed. Slowly recall the events of the day. It's like traveling back through time. If you can do that flawlessly, you may just make a good magician. <laughs> That's all for today. Chihiro has taken a liking to you. However, you're still just casual acquaintances. Well, um, excuse me. <sighs> Welcome back. Hmm, that's strange. The number of victims seem to be on the rise again. Apparently the decline was only temporary. Huh? Does that mean that no matter how many shadows we defeat, more will just keep coming? If that's the case, then what's the point of fighting? If we do nothing, then everyone will eventually join the Lost. Our efforts have prevented the crisis from escalating. I guess you're right. You know, it's kind of creepy when you think about it. If we couldn't use our personas, then the whole city would be crawling with zombies. Oh, I didn't get to see her at school. Oh well. The equipment in the command room is still malfunctioning. I don't know the details, but it's causing some sort of unforeseen error. If you have time to examine it, I'd appreciate it. Oops. Okay. Guess 
assault, well, I should save and then examine the equipment maybe, or well, it doesn't really matter. Cause then I gotta go make a persona as well. I think I've got to get rid of Orpheus, maybe. Well, I think I have a few here that I might not need. Oh, I have a Justice. Oh, I'm good then. Justice, Emperor, and Justice. So I have a Justice one. I'm good. Saving the city, right, Senpai? Of course. Why would you ask such an obvious question? Well, you know, I was just thinking it might be nice to get some kind of thank you. From the ladies, at least. Well, I wouldn't count on getting any appreciation from anyone since no one knows what we're doing. I know that makes things harder. But if we don't fight, then more people will become victims of the shadows, like the lost. We are making a difference, though. We're making the city more peaceful. Just remember that. Yeah, I don't need any thank yous, I'm good. I thought she said it was malfunctioning. You lied, Mitsuru. I heard from a younger guy in my club yesterday that the 10th graders are teasing someone. What, like bullying him? Poor kid, what's his name? I don't know, all I heard is that it's really a problem. I thought our school was peaceful too, but I guess it's not so much. Quiet down, class. It's time to begin today's lecture. Progredio ado rucum shiderum. Mr. Ikoda left work early today, so today's lecture will be a little different. He looked fine, but he claimed he didn't feel well. Make sure you know what you're eating, everyone, before you take a bite. Last time, I related some basic magical knowledge. Today, I'll add to that with a discussion of meditation. But first, let's review the ways that magicians meditate. To heighten your creative impulse, the source of all magical power. Carefully observe a real-world object and recreate it in your head to the last detail. That's the Western style, but I'd also like to talk about the Eastern style of meditation. Meditation was actually refined in the East. Modern magicians adapted Eastern meditation for their own original style. Straighten yourself, take a deep breath, and concentrate. Those are the basics of Eastern meditation. You don't need much to meditate. All that's required is a quiet environment and some time. It doesn't take long, but you should allot at least 15 minutes for it. Now for the practicalities. First, your posture. Choose a position you're comfortable in. Sitting cross-legged is easy for most, or you could try the full lotus position called Kekafusa. You can also meditate while sitting on a chair. Any position will work as long as you're relaxed. Once you can breathe comfortably, cover or close your eyes and relax. Now that you've prepared yourself physically, let's focus on your mind and soul. Imagine a symbol, perhaps a large tree or the moon. If you wish, it could even be the god of your own faith. However, do not empty your mind. That would actually be foolhardy. You run the risk of losing control of yourself. I feel tired. Should I doze? I kinda wanna doze. I kinda wanna doze. I'm gonna doze. 